gonna walk all over you Hey, Drew here from Learn Guitar in London um, I'm playing a really great little beginner song here which is perfect if you know three chords E, A and G okay um, and it's also got a great little riff at the beginning that's very simple um, and I'm going to take you through how to play it. Simple as that. Okay, so we're going to start at the beginning. It's a good place to start. Yes, yes, true. That's a great place to start. Right, so we're going to start with the 12th fret on the thickest string. Now, some guitars, mo in fact, most guitars have like two little dots to tell you where the 12th fret is. Okay, so just keep an eye out for those, and that's where we're going to start. Now, it doesn't really matter what finger you use, to be honest, but I'd recommend using that one just for the time being. Okay, and we're going to hold down just the 12th fret on the thickest string and we're going to hit it twice with our plectrum. We're then going to go to 11, hit it twice, 10 twice, are you noticing a theme? 9, twice, 8, 7, 6, 5. Okay, so it's 12, 11, the riff at the beginning. So that's reasonably simple, right? You can just press down the strings and you just look to see where you need to change chords and you just go from 12 to 5 doing two hits for each, okay? We're then going to go to an E chord. Okay, this is what an E chord looks like, just a little reminder. Index on the first fret on the G, middle on the second fret on the A and ring on the second fret underneath on the D. And for that chord we strum all six. And we're gonna go now, the rhythm. This is the slightly more challenging part, okay? So the rhythm, I'm gonna take it nice and slow. It's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay? One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. And when you do an upstroke, just make sure it's the same speed as a downstroke. Flick your wrist, don't use your arm, okay? Keep everything as relaxed as possible. Now, I need to talk about um, a bar. So, one bar of music in this particular song is this. So that's just one pass of one, two, and three, and four and. of that before the singing starts, okay? So let's take it from the beginning. Three and four and... Okay, then the singing starts. So, we go for E, So in total, we're actually going to be playing E eight times, okay, or eight bars. Four without singing, four with singing. So you keep singing. Mistake. It's actually eight times. Sorry about that. It's eight, four at the beginning, then eight of E. We're then going to go to an A for the you've been messing. Very easy change, okay? Move these fingers down to the D and G and tuck your little finger underneath on the B. Okay, so they're all stuck in the second fret there. Four of A. A we strum the bottom five. You from E to A, keep strumming, 
keep the beat going, okay? Don't start too fast, keep it slow and keep the beat going. So I'm just gonna show an example of how not to do it. What I need to hear, even if the chord is wrong, is keep the drummer drumming. That's how we do it. Even if the chords are wrong, you see I kept the beat going, okay? Try to do that, that's an essential skill as being a, a guitarist. So we've just done A for four, we then go back to E for four, okay? So in total, we've got our intro, we've got E four times no singing, E eight times with singing, A four times, E four times, that's your verse. Then the chorus, so we've just come from E. We're gonna go G just once, okay? So this is your E, change E to G, quite simple. Lift up these, leave this here. Move your third finger up to the third fret on the thicker string and little finger down on the third fret. We're gonna strum that just once. For a G, we strum all six. These boots are made for... E chord, back to there. So this finger's spare. Down, move the others over. We're then gonna repeat that back to G. That's just one bell, just one. E, then G again. I'm going to talk about that bit in a minute. So it's G once. Again. G again. Okay, now when I go to E that time, I'm going to strum and stop. So the first beat, I'm going to stop it. So I'm not going to go... I'm going to go... Now to stop the strings, you obviously strum the chord and then just bring the fleshy horseshoe part of your palm down on the strings. And that's where we're gonna sing, I'm gonna walk all over you. And then we're gonna go back to our... Okay, so let's do that chorus, starting on the G. <coughs> Excuse me. So, these boots made for walking. That's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. We start doing the intro again. Back to back to four E's without singing, eight E's, etc. With the verses. So that's these boots are made for walking. You can just easily play that along. It goes intro, verse, chorus, um, and then the intro again, verse, chorus, and then intro, verse, chorus. So it's really, really, really simple. Just repeated rounds. Um, perfect if you're a beginner. I really hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Keep on playing. See you soon. Bye.